Hello, this is Yorick with Crypto Manufacture. Today I will show you how to use the bot on the Blocks SSV Discord to deposit Girly ETH for you on the Girly Ethereum test network if you want to participate in their SSV test network and you need some Girly ETH. So this is for people who want to run a validator. And uh, because Girly ETH is hard to get by, there is a bot that will deposit to the deposit contract on your behalf. There's a little um, pinned message here that tells you how this works, right? One message every six hours, get to the validator deposit stage, grab the data, and then type plus girly ETH wallet address hex data. All right, let's go go get do that. Um, over here, we're at prata.launchpad.ethereum.org and I'm going to fast forward through all this. Um, basically, this is warning me that I am locking up 32 ETH, that I can't get them back until withdrawals are enabled, and that if I screw this up and I run it twice in the same location, I will get myself slashed. Since it's a test network, I can just next, next, finish, but if you're doing any of this like mainnet, please do read it. All right, so we need the deposit data, which I created earlier. So um, I created a key and deposit data for it using the deposit CLI. That's a separate process, which I'm not going into here now. And it is for Prata Testnet. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue with MetaMask. And it tells me you do not have enough girly ETH entirely correct right so now what we need to do is we gotta get the hex data from metamask so the first thing because i can't click continue here i'm in chrome so i can right click and inspect if this was firefox i'd have to just do an f12 and do it a little bit more manually and it will show me this element here and i see it's a button and it's disabled see that bit disabled double click that type enabled Hit enter and F12 to close that window. Okay, we have the same thing, it's still grayed out, but now I can actually continue anyway. I do understand that I need my mnemonic or my funds are gone. I know that there's early adopter slashing risks and I cannot reverse this. Um, I understand there is no advantage to depositing more than once, 32 ETH once, right? That's it. Okay, and we're gonna send that deposit. Or we're gonna pretend to, because we don't have enough girly ETH. All right, so here we are. We want to see the hex data. So over here, hex, and then take these hex data here and copy. All right, now I'm gonna construct myself what I need to type in a text document, and then I'm gonna paste it. So it says, what do I need to do? plus girly ETH wallet address hex data. All right, I already have my, sorry, this is, I already have my hex data. So put that in here and then it is plus girly ETH. I'm gonna do all lowercase. I don't know whether it's relevant. And I reject this and I'm gonna go get myself the address of my throwaway account here my test account for Kintsugi. Paste that in there. Make sure I have a space. That looks good. Plus girly ETH, account address, hex data. Copy that entire thing. Go back into Discord and see whether I get hit by the slow mode here. I can do this once every six hours. I already did this morning. Enter. No, I'm immune. Um. Something went wrong, okay. So that failed yesterday because I had done a demo earlier that day and uh, I ran into the 24 hour limit. You can only get girly ETH from the bot every 24 hours, understandable. So here we are, same thing, exact same thing again from yesterday. Let's see how it does today. Ta-da, operation successful, checks passed. So this bot is now sending 32 girly ETH um, to the deposit contract on my behalf. My validator 
is now funded and I can go split it and assign it to four operators of my choosing. Thank you.